Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Well, some uh, changes in the Middle East um, seem to occur, and I'm talking about changes uh, in um, relations between nations over there. All of a sudden, certain nations that uh, were not really friendly to one another, all of a sudden start to talk, and st their leaders pay uh, visits to one another. And I'm talking about, uh, uh, for instance, um, Let's, let's start with uh, Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia. He was a very busy bee lately. He uh, entertained a lot of people in his uh, little palace. Uh, some uh, with uh, uh, good taste, some people got yelled at. Uh, so, um, like the Americans and uh, Boris Johnson showed over there and um, did three rounds around the palace and was kicked out, didn't do anything, didn't solve anything. But guess who others were invited over there? It was the new prime minister of Pakistan, not uh, Imran Khan, the one that was uh, kicked by uh, <clears throat> the big boss. And then um, it was uh, the Turkish uh, president, uh, Erdogan, came over there very nicely. Um, so uh, in the meantime, uh, Bin Salman called Putin, called uh, Xi Jinping of, of China, did not answer uh, Biden's calls. Uh, I don't know, uh, things are, are not okay here. And in the meantime, uh, this uh, pariah in, of the Middle East up to about few, two, two years ago or something, uh, starts making uh, visits. And this gentleman is uh, President Assad of Syria. Uh, um, by the way, Iran also spoke with uh, uh, um, Saudi Arabia they gave some signs that they would like to <clears throat> have some little talk here. So now Syria's president was uh, received um, in the Middle East, and I think he went and went to, uh, I can't remember exactly what country he visited, but uh, people, uh, I, I don't think it was uh, the Emirates, the Arab Emirates, uh, I'm not certain. But anyway, here now he pre uh, Syria's president Assad visits Iran for meetings in rare trip. Oh, oh, oh. So this is from Associated Press from uh, today, May 8, 2022, and uh, it says Tehran, Syrian President Bashar Assad met with Iranian leader in Tehran on Sunday, making his second trip to major wartime allies, Iran, since Syria's civil, civil war erupted in 2011. Well, this was expected, but then I can't remember, uh, yeah. Yeah, so he meets here the supreme leaders, um, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and President Ebrahim Raisi. Um, so they praised the strong ties between their nations and vowed to boost relations further. Assad was uh, reported to have left Tehran for Damascus later on Sunday. So, uh, seems like Assad was rehabilitated, if you <clears throat> want to use that. And then it says, his rela strategic relations between Iran and Syria is caused by the lack of domination of the Zionist regime in the region, Assad was quoted as saying in uh, Noor News. So I don't know if that's good for uh, <clears throat> the big energy in the Middle East, East and all over the world, but nevertheless, um, that's one. And then we have Qatar's emir to visit Iran. What's going on here, man? So the Qatar's Emir, this is coming from Reuters today, May, May 8, 2022, we have Qatar's Emir to visit Iran and then goes to Europe next. This guy is concerned, I think, with the, uh, with the uh, deal, with nuclear deal within Iran and uh, the rest of the world. So uh, this uh, Qatar's Emir will visit Iran, Germany, Britain and other European states starting this week on a trip expected to discuss efforts to revive Iran's 2015 nuclear deal and energy security in Europe, a source brief, a source briefed on the visit said on Sunday. Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, ru ruler of one of the world's top natural gas exporters, will visit Iran and then head on an extensive visit, obviously, to EU and UK. The guy's gonna beg for uh, a natural gas, obviously, after they showed so much love and happiness for Ukraine. So, 
this is going to happen over there and um, I haven't seen this many, uh, how should I put it, uh, connection between uh, the Middle East Eastern countries like so friendly and people that did not speak for some time, um, Saudi Arabia, Iran, uh, Syria, um, mm, and the Emirates who are, are with, uh, uh, together with Saudi Arabia did not, they declined the request from the United States to uh, increase the output of oil on the market. So there's two of them over there and uh, um, they are a little bit inclined uh, to uh, talk to Russia more than the United States at this point. That, um, a lot of things happen and then uh, it's like a re reshuffling of the whole uh, economic and uh, political uh, relations among countries. And uh, if you take in consideration the, the, the Japanese prime minister, who was a very, very busy bee in the East Asia, and then uh, went to first went to India and East Asia, South Asia, and then he went to Europe. He met the Pope. He met um, what's his name, um, Prime Minister of uh, Great Britain, Boris Johnson. They signed a pact over there or non-aggression <laughs> and cooperation in East Asia against China and goes against the, the Solomon Islands. <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny not. And then you had Modi, you know, Modi who was not of India. He was never, you know, invited anywhere. He, he, invi he, he saw Putin a few times in the past few years. He has never been invited places. All of a sudden the, they, rolled, they rolled the red carpet in uh, Paris, they, uh, it was uh, in Germany, he kissed everybody, they were all friends, and all of a sudden with India, why? Because India still buys Russian energy, and these guys want to make him, hey, forget about it, what, what, how much? Give me the price, how much? That basically, this is what they tell Modi. And Modi signed some documents and said, yeah, we're gonna increase cooperation and in Western investments and so on, and let me think about the thing with Russia. <laughs> A few years, <laughs> and then um, uh, what was that? There was another thing with uh, uh, yeah, the Japanese uh, came to to see Modi too, it's, um, and tried to bribe him with about fifty billion dollars. Excuse me, <coughs> uh, fifty billion dollars investments in in India if uh, he just uh, says bye bye to Putin. But he said, uh, I can't say that. I can't do it yet. Maybe I see you in a few years, Japan and Japan. <laughs> went home or his to his boss and that's what what's happening over there nevertheless uh, mr assad president assad is rehabilitated rehabilitated i think he was uh, he was not uh, received in a, in a certain uh, um, uh, organization and meetings you know, among the arab countries and now look he's back good for him he defended his country he's a dictator I don't know. If he's a good guy, I don't know. His people should determine that. Not me, you, or uh, <clears throat> CNN. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See you in a minute.